Now I am talking about the two important enzymes you have to not forget before you go to exam. Next week we are introducing a feature as I told you. You have all these bulleted points available under every topic. Just like you set up a reminder in your clock. You can set up for every point a reminder. And that reminder automatically keep popping up the notifications into your app. So that you will not forget uh, across the day you keep getting notifications on the points that you have set up a clock. Similarly, you can bookmark the points. If you don't have energy to read all points, you can only ask the uh, UMedico to give you most bookmarked points by all my friends across the country. Then only those most bookmarked points only you can read. Then some of the points you can record your voice. What is the fun in listening to somebody else's voice recorded uh, audio or video? You record, you can still record your own voice on every point, how you will remember. And then you can share that recording with other users who are also reading the same point. They can go through how the, your audio files also. So that's how preparation. Today, remember doctor, all knowledge is there in the internet. You have YouTube, you have Wikipedia, you have got uh, internet channels, so many things. Learning today is very easy. So it is not the teachers, non-availability of teachers. You throw to any coaching center, you will get every Sunday, one Saturday, a teacher will come and uh, sweat out and then go, whether you listen or not. What is the missing factor for every student? It is the motivation to read. It is... That confidence to read, it is the most difficult and most missing fact. So that is the reason we want to know, we want to do analysis on what are your learning gaps, what topics you are poor or you have not read. How can we know that? You keep playing quizzes on the app. You challenge other guy, play the quiz with him. So as you keep playing more and more and more quizzes, our artificial intelligence algorithm will do analysis on all your mistakes, the wrong answers. It will know maybe what is the reason that you are doing certain answers wrongly and identify what are your learning gaps and then send you the notifications that, hey, read this topic, man, that topic, man, that is one thing that you have to focus, man. It becomes a personal companion for you in learning. The moment we can handhold you in a personalized way, then uh, that is the point where you start showing the results. So the whole purpose of UMedico is to use the artificial intelligence algorithms to bring that personalization in your preparation, motivate you every day until you win the game and show us that, yes, I made it. That is the whole purpose. So download UMedico app, play as many quizzes as possible, challenge with anybody, it is all free. Don't worry. You play as many quizzes as possible, challenge with others. Every quiz you are playing, you will get some skill points. You will know what questions you are answering wrong. We start doing analysis and tell you that uh, what areas you need to read better. So. Homocysteine methyl transferase is this enzyme for which vitamin B12 is a very important cofactor. It converts the methyl tetrahydrofolate and methyl vitamin B12 and uh, at the same time homocysteine to methionine. So this is the place where you require. Then the second important thing is methyl melanyl CoA mutase. For this also cofactor is vitamin B12. And where do you require this? Odd chain fatty acids, if you want to metabolize them, you require it. Where odd chain fatty acids, instead of giving acetyl CoA, which is a 2 carbon CoA, they will be giving 3 carbon CoA at the end, propionyl CoA. That propionyl CoA to become succinyl CoA, you require one biotin cofactor coenzyme called propionyl CoA carboxylase which converts this 3 carbon propionyl CoA into a 4 carbon methyl melanyl CoA and that methyl melanyl CoA 
L methyl melanyl CoA becoming succinyl CoA, you require the methyl melanyl CoA mutase for which the vitamin B12 is a cofactor. This is the very most wrongly answered question that we got in the analysis after checking the students how they are playing the quizzes on the UMedico app. They often confuse whether biotin is a coenzyme of the carboxylase or whether it is a coenzyme of the methylmalonyl CoA mutase. So no confusion please. Cobalamin is the cofactor for the mutase and the biotin is for the carboxylase is what you have to ultimately remember. Now doctor, let's go to the next question. Vitamin C, what are the bullets you want to remember? It is important for collagen synthesis and it is important uh, cofactor for the proline hydroxylase and lysine hydroxylase. It is an important antioxidant in GI tract. Nimbu ki sharbat piyo, apna GI tract ko safe rakho. And it can lead to scurvy, it can lead to bleeding gums and the soft tissue hemorrhage which lead to what is called as a wooden leg is what you have to basically remember. So this is how you typically see the lesions in the case of the scurvy is what I want to underscore to all of you. Then what are the important things about vitamin D? It is the mineralization of the bones and the teeth and it can lead to genuarum in adults it lead to development of osteomalacia. Very important question. X-linked dominant condition is the vitamin D resistant rickets. Lot of conditions are either autosomal recessive or X-linked recessive or autosomal dominant. Very few conditions are X-linked dominant. So, vitamin D resistant rickets where the person is losing the um, trace elements into the urine is X-linked dominant. The kidney will be leaking the phosphorus in vitamin D resistant rickets. Then one important thing about the bowing of the legs frequently asked in neat PG lot of students do it wrong. Lateral bowing is called the genuarum vitamin D deficiency is associated. Anterior bowing where is it involved lot of students do this say mistake. That is typically seen in neonatal syphilis. So this is a lateral bowing which is called genuarum. Whereas this is the anterior bowing which is called as the saber shin is what you need to remember. Which is typically called the typically seen in neonatal congenital syphilis is what I want to underscore to all of you. And why anterior bowing occur in case of congenital syphilis because syphilis lead to the osteopetrocytis of the tibia and that lead to development of the anterior bowing. Now, vitamin E, why you want to remember? It is an antioxidant. Today, what is the major problem in the non-communicable diseases? Alzheimer's. So, vitamin E decreases the risk of Alzheimer's and uh, vitamin E deficiency can lead to hyporeflexia and what are all the vitamins which are called antioxidants one of the favorite uh, question any exam you go vitamin E is the antioxidant in the blood vitamin C is the antioxidant in the gut then vitamin A is antioxidant beta carotene is antioxidant is what I want to underscore to all of you